Friday, 12th of July. Not, not a particularly summery afternoon, but I'm going to get some spuds up. We had a very wet day a couple of days ago, 40 millimetres of rain, helped a lot of things, we won't have to do any watering. That lot of spuds, as you can see, look to me as though they've finished doing their growing. They're going to come up as soon as I can get around to them. And then if we move down here, there's some alpha potatoes in this bed and they've more or less done the growing that they're going to do as well. But the first ones I'm going to lift are these in this bed. These are early potatoes. Ulster Prince on the left hand side and International Kidney on the right hand side. Ulster Prince have definitely gone over so they might as well come up. And I know I had a look at the last time we grew International Kidney. They were quite badly affected by slugs. Now the ones we dug didn't have any damage at all, partly because it was bone dry. Uh, if you have a look at the video where I was trying to dig these out of, you'll see the ground was absolutely bone dry so I'm assuming that's not going to be the case now hope I can lift some of these spuds up and dig over the bed as they come up so I'm going to start and make a start on international kidney over the other side starting this there's one or two spots of rain that's good news Well, so far these are coming up as really good spuds. Um, it's still a bit hard, I must admit, for digging, but I think I'll manage it.
I've uh, got our Ulster prints up. It's a bit of a drizzly afternoon now, so can't really leave the camera out too long. And that's the haul of potatoes that have come off it. There's no damage. Vague bits of scab, but it'll come off with the skin. But most of those are jacket potatoes. Very strange for an early crop, but I'm pleased with those. I like a jacket potato. So what I'm going to try and do now, before the drizzle gets any worse, is get up these international kidney. I did leave the borage at the end because I know the bees love the borage. There was a few on here, but now I've come to film, of course. They have all disappeared. Oh well, never mind. Just have to take my word for it. The bees love borage. Got it dug over. Got all the spuds out. Sort of edged it. It's a bit untidy and it's a bit lumpy, but it'll break down before I need to do anything. I don't think I shall dig that again. Quite whether I'll cover it or go through it again when some weeds come, I'm not too sure. But it's amazing where the best part of two inches of rain went two days ago. And the spuds that came out. They're international kidney. Not too bad. Can you, can you jacket new potatoes? Because some of those are pretty large. And... These are Ulster prints. Again, pretty large. What I will say is there's no damage, there's no slug damage or anything. So I am pleased with that. Weight-wise, I'll put on what, what, what they are when I weigh them up at home. Uh, they both filled the bucket about twice, so I'm guessing there's not too much in it. But I weigh them up at home, add that to the bottom of the screen and it's still trying to rain not properly it's just horrible drizzle still what can you expect it's summer the harvest is being prepared for its picture taking so we didn't just get potatoes today we got a few other things as well well i thought you were going to put those in covered sweet peas it's all right carry on no. The sweet pea stems are really short now. They're not right long on those dahlias. No, they're not, but maybe they'll get longer. Anyway, I suppose they're the same onions, since you were yellow. Yes. So we got those onions, some dahlias, more sweet peas. I take it they're from the autumn ones. Yes. And got short stems, that's right. Yeah. We've got some tayberries, blueberries, a couple of cauliflowers, which are either Boris or Clapton, I think the Boris, some broccoli, cabbage, cabbage, and then of course... Jostaberries. Oh yeah, forgot about the jostaberries. There you go, jostaberries as well. Just one or two blackberries. I'd pick them before the yeah. pigeons could have them. Anyway, along with the potatoes, that's not too bad a haul on a horrible, drizzly summer's day in the allotment. Where is summer? <laughs> uh, don't know, but it's definitely not here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye bye.